Shows out with a 54 male, a quick trip, a uh, white Dodge, Dodge Charger. Get your ID, and while while you give us your ID, she can speak with you. But you need to identify yourself. So go and get your ID. So oh. right now, what it falls under is loitering. So loitering. Yes. Yes. Because like if you were like getting gas, waiting on somebody, like if you were doing anything other than just kind of like hanging out, it wouldn't be an issue. Well, I've I've been on the phone. We know. This area is known for narcotic activity. It's known for criminal activity. So. That's the reason, another reason why we're speaking to you. We want to make sure that's not a foot. Right here, people will park. They'll go over there. They'll wait right here. They'll wait for somebody. They'll, they'll do shit like and that. And so. what? In the under a street Bro, you have no idea. So. Well, yes. I, I, I live out here. People I I, do, I believe do you do. Shit. You know, you have your ID with you. Is the, is the license, or is the address on your license current? Is that no. your? Okay. What's your current address? I stay right down the street. Okay. And I've lived out here for a long time. Because you know everybody. If you, yeah, if, but if, I've, I've never been like. Listen, even, I know a lot of the. If you notice, the, if you notice one, the folks, the turn, they get their gas and they go. So, the state's definition of loitering is doing something not like the normal, hanging out at the gas pump, not like the normal. You know what I'm saying? So we we have to just kind of get out. Now, if you to like take off and run as soon as you see us over here, well, why, why would I do that? Well, so that's it. That would add to it, but you didn't. So it's, it makes it look a lot better. Do you get what I'm saying? But, but I I literally come here all the time. I live I live here. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's fine. That's but fine. you can't just. If, you're, if you don't have, if you're not doing any business, if you're not getting gas, you're not going well, to get food. I was actually finna go in there, well, I just had a phone conversation. Well, that's cool, but now that we've had this communication, it's what they call dispelling the alarm. Now that we're able to, to figure out, okay, this guy doesn't have any issues or anything like that, then we can be by our merry way. But we never met you a day in our life. I never, I've never met you. I've never gotten She's never met you. He's never met you. So, we're just doing our jobs, what we're, what we're getting paid to do. Go inside, well, I mean, do your business if you got to, and then head on home, all right? Yeah, but Second like, thing, that's kinda, you're... That's crazy. Look, it's... Like, I've go, never... Go look up loitering in, in Georgia no, Code I, section. My, my, my father's an entire sheriff. Okay. I, well, I know, but I've never... Like I said, this this air is known for, for drug transactions. We're going to make sure none of that's occurring here tonight, no, I so... I literally in the public eye, and I haven't spoken to no one. And I, I know you saw the weird girl run up to my car, and I'm like... Yeah, they just came from a party with a bunch of with a bunch of um, a whole ton of drugs, and we're sitting right, right there with my, our blue my, lights um, on. This, I, I do a lot of stuff in the community, and shit, so I, my car is like really well known. I race at Silver Dollar. I do track events. I don't do no drug activity. And like he right. said earlier, the 
the reason we got out with you and asked you and didn't just like immediately throw you in handcuffs is called dispelling the alarm. That's all that happened. So, but your the do these change? Like, can you make them just one regular color? I, I can turn them off with a switch. Okay, so the blue lights you can't have blue lights. Did I ever tell you that? Uh, I mean, I mean, you don't have to do it right now. Just before you get on the road, no blue lights. All right. But other than that, look, you're good, just future reference, you gotta look at it from our point of view, okay? My dad is a retired chief deputy. Then you definitely should not, then you should definitely but understand I've our been, job then. Then I've you should been for that. then you should understand. If you if if you're if you say all these things and if you're in the profession you would understand why we're well, doing bro, our that's job. Why I had no problem right. Speaking, and we we like definitely appreciate random. we appreciate the cooperation. No, it's not random. We sat there for a while. We, we observed you, we were watching, okay, this guy's not getting gas, he's not going in there, we're watching everybody come and go. So it drew our, already drew our attention. Then we saw somebody that we dealt with earlier with a whole bunch of drugs around here coming up to you. I'm like, okay. Right. So and they it, said, hey, I see your right. car everywhere because I live out here. They said, we see your car, SRT on the side. Hey, I which, said, thank you. Which makes sense. And that's the reason we came over here to introduce ourselves, to dispel the alarm, make sure there's nothing nefarious going on. Now we're going to be about our way. Because that, now if, if we thought something nefarious was going on, then we'd be going a whole different direction. You understand? But we have to dispel arm, make sure nothing nefarious is going on. You understand that? I, I, I guess. I, I, I guess. Have a good night, sir. All right, have a good night. I don't have one on me. I'm Officer James. It's Officer Pitts. That's Officer Mosley. I mean, and I, and I definitely encourage you to go look up the code section, OCGA loitering. L-O-I-T-E-R-I-N-G. Look it up.